So this is a quick tutorial to show you how to embed a video into Google Slides without having to use the link. Uh, I noticed that a lot of our students, when you give them a YouTube link, they don't have access to YouTube, so it always sends them to an error page. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new presentation, get rid of all that. And I'm gonna go up here to YouTube, find my clip, which is gonna be Lost in the Woods from Frozen 2. Fantastic song. I'm gonna copy the link. I'm gonna go back over here to my Google Slides. And then up here where you have insert, you're gonna click insert, scroll down to video. And then you can also search for the video here, but I find that it doesn't always uh, pull up all the selections. So I usually just go straight to YouTube, copy the link, pull it up there, and then insert that video. And so you can resize it however much you want to. So I have a couple of different presentations that have lots of videos in them. I'm gonna go ahead and center it those lines there it is uh, so you can see when I hit present <laughs> there's me uh, it has the video right there it does not start automatically though so this is how you do that I'm gonna escape out of there uh, make sure you select the video and then under format options video playback uh, you come down here and it says autoplay when presenting uh, so I always click that so that the students don't actually have to click it and then there's a lot of times where there's ads at the beginning or something like that so let's say I want to start at uh, the 30 second mark. Uh, I'll just go there, or you can play it and be like, and of course, it's always fine. That's a good point right there. I probably... So I have it starting at the four, 34 second mark. You can also set an end time. So now when I hit present, it'll automatically start playing. I probably could catch up with you tomorrow. <laughs> So you can do this for uh, for tons of different videos. I'm going to show you uh, one of my Google Slides that I have for Kinder. Let's see. Let's do the la the last one that I did for them. So I just give like a little instruction there. So if they do watch it on their own, uh, they know um, to. I, it says click the blue arrow to go to the next video. You can literally click anywhere on the slide. Um, as long as you're not clicking on the video and it'll advance to the next one. But I found that if I give them something to click on, um, it's a lot easier to follow those directions. And then uh, they can press the letter K to pause it. So let me go ahead and play this. So I'll go to the first slide and see it'll automatically start. And it starts at the four <laughs> second mark. Hello, hello. Can you clap your hands? So I'm gonna go ahead and pause that one. Uh, and then I have each of these ending at a certain time because these are like, this is like a 20 minute video. So I have it ending like six minutes in. Go to the next one. You have Halloween sharks starting at nine seconds. And so I'm gonna press K so they can pause it if they need to. And then you go on to the next one. So it's just a cool way to uh, to send the videos to kids, um, especially in a link, uh, so that they don't have to sit there and try to find where it is and all that kind of stuff. Um, one more trick, if you wanna send them this exact thing, so go to whichever slide you actually want them to start on. Come up here in the very, very top, and all of the Google Slides like this are gonna have uh, this, this long address. And then right here in the middle, or close to the end, there's a, a uh, word that says edit. So if you click on that, now you wanna change this to say present. Sorry, I'm doing this with one hand. Present, and then hit enter. So now it takes it into presentation mode. So if I copy this link, and now I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna go to a new tab and paste that exact link. So now this is a link where they cannot edit it. They can't see it in, in this format right. Hello, hello. So that keeps it from, that keeps students from seeing it in the view where it's, let me just go back to where it was, where you can actually edit slides. So they will not see uh, all of the white and the toolbars and all that kind of stuff and all the slides over here. They will only see the full screen uh, video of it. And then this is where they can hit that button up there. We go to the next one. We'll click it again, go to the next one. Oh, I need to go to the bathroom. So press the letter K and pause. Uh, another thing that I did for these, um, I don't know if it's gonna show on here. Yeah, so I sub I created this little icon in here and, that it, and that'll take them right back to the Google Meet. So the way you do that 
is you literally just go to the, I'm just gonna go to the slide. And then I, I chose an image because it's music class. Uh, if you hit, I believe it's control K. Yeah, so control K brings up a link for whatever picture or word it's gonna be. So for this picture, uh, I went to my Google Classroom for second grade, this is fifth grade, but uh, I copied this link and then I would come back to this page, paste that link here. And then when they're watching the videos, uh, oops, when they're watching the videos and they get to the very, very end, they can click this button and it'll take them right back to the Google Meet with me. I did that a couple of times at the beginning of the year when I would send them the videos and have them watch it on their own uh, because I had such a bad connection. The only issue with this is it's a little hard to get younger kids to, to understand exactly what to do when you send them the links and all that kind of stuff. But uh, it does work for older kids. If they have their parents, it definitely works as long as their parents understand uh, technology. So I hope this video helped you out a little bit. Uh, if you have any more questions, please let me know.